April 6th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 13 and 14 from the Old Testament. How long, Lord, will you continue to ignore me? How long will you pay no attention to me? How long must I worry and suffer in broad daylight? How long will my enemy gloat over me? Look at me, answer me, O Lord, my God. Revive me, or else I will die. Then my enemy will say, I have defeated him. Then my foes will rejoice because I am upended. But I trust in your faithfulness. May I rejoice because of your deliverance. I will sing praises to the Lord when he vindicates me. Fools say to themselves, there is no God. They sin and commit evil deeds. None of them does what is right. The Lord looks down from heaven at the human race to see if there is anyone who is wise and seeks God. Everyone rejects God. They are all morally corrupt. None of them does what is right. Not even one. All those who behave wickedly do not understand. Those who devour my people as if they were eating bread and do not call out to the Lord. They are absolutely terrified, for God defends the godly. You want to humiliate the oppressed, even though the Lord is their shelter? I wish the deliverance of Israel would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the well-being of his people, may Jacob rejoice, may Israel be happy. God, I think I need to ask for forgiveness again. <laughs> How long, Lord, will you continue to ignore me? How long will you pay no attention to me? Oh, gosh, how often have I said that, knowing full well that you're not ignoring me in the slightest, that you're paying full attention to me, that you know clearly what's going on, and you're in full control. At least the psalmist at the end says, but I trust in your faithfulness. And, and I, too, get around to those statements. But, God, I just need to pray today that I get to those statements faster. Hopefully, at some point, as I grow in our relationship, I'll get to them before I even say those types of things that aren't true. God, I do know that you're faithful. I do know that you love me more than I can even imagine. And I just apologize for getting into those situations and those problems and tucking myself in those little tiny corners where I'm trying to push everyone away, but I blame it on you, saying that you're not there for me. God, I am so sorry. I know that you are always there for me. I know that you're always there for everyone listening today. God, let us be intentional about that. Let us always rejoice even when we're going through the hard times, even when we feel like enemies are attacking us or people are persecuting us for, for being Christian. Let us, instead of lashing out at you or even other people, let us just get down on our knees and pray to you. Let us just open up our Bibles and read more about you. Let us just draw closer to you instead of rejecting you further. As the psalmist says, I will sing praises to the Lord, not when you vindicate me, but always. In your son's name I pray. Amen.